right. Oh. It's been a while. Yeah, since I last played this. And as I was setting everything up, I realized, oh god damn it. I forgot I had to catch a ghastly. So yeah, uh, last time I played this, I kind of went on a... Bit of a... Hold on, hold on a minute. Okay, yeah, I beat this guy, yeah. I knew I beat this guy, but I didn't remember if I had saved... Because I was in this place before, and I assumed... Uh, wouldn't finish right here. Oh well. Um, let's explore a bit more. Let's see if I can get some cool stuff here. Do some puzzles. I always found these to be really cool. So, like in the past few streams, I'm going to make this one hour long only. I had intended to stream all week long, but uh, my health hasn't been the best for some reason. Yes, even glitches and sometimes. Ew. Ew. I burned them. But I have no idea why, uh, my throat suddenly yesterday felt absolutely awful. Uh, the day before yesterday was fine, but then yesterday was, uh, suddenly pretty bad. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, I assume it has nothing to do with streaming then. It has to be so... It has to be something else, maybe like the way climate changes around here where I am. Okay, let's see if it's only announced. Uh, but anywho. Okay, no, now encounters. <laughs> this is the other puzzle. Back in the day, this was like all the rage. Trying to get the. Find, to figure out the secret of the unknowns. And the movie, the Ante movie, made them look really absolutely crazy. I remember thinking, hey, oh, holy crap, that's going to be... That's a really strong Pokemon. But ultimately, it's, you know, a massive joke. Uh, they should have made like a mega version of that. Like mega unknown, and it's just a... The unknown from the movies. That would have been actually pretty hype. And it's actually broken as shit because it has a weird ability or something. Abilities are usually what break uh, New York Pokemon. I noticed that, that uh, they usually have like, you know, fairly standard. Uh, or, or somewhat good uh, stat spread or mood pool. Then the ability is some genuine bullshit. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's known. Bite. Three XP. So yeah, they could very easily salvage this Pokemon. Somehow. I, I doubt it though. Hidden power as its only move is way too garbage. So yeah, I wanted a ghastly but forgot about it. I forgot about all about this game. <laughs> I've been kind of busy overall. I wasn't even planning to stream today. I was planning to skip it. But I realize, hey, I'm neglecting this thing too much. I need to keep going. And my frog wasn't feeling that bad, so here, what the hell? Might as well advance a little bit. But I need to advance with this uh, Final Fantasy. 
I will ignore that. Way too long. And I have to play Castlevania. <laughs> I'm reaching the end of Spooktober and haven't done anything with it. But I digress. I feel like I'm justified in that. Okay, this guy. They have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. It must have been for special useful. Here, take this. Increases the power of grass type moves. Maybe I should play less games that make me read out loud. Your experiences in Violet City should be useful for your journey. Okay. Uh, so, the main reason I might want a uh, ghastly. because, like the title of this stream says, and I'm going to make it the YouTube bot title too. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough, huh? Um, there's going to be a lot of, uh... I died there for a second. Uh, a lot of... bold orbs. Uh, I died for real. Well... That's not a very pretty face. My bad. A lot of bolt orbs, wheezing, not wheezing, uh, all things. Stuff like that. Plus some exploding. And having ghastly on you is actually pretty useful. God damn it, I get that. This crunch is my best attack. Actually, slash is probably my best attack. Um, yeah, having Ghastly to switch into them is particularly useful. Uh, but I guess I can, I can manage with this, uh, for now. Just outspeed everything. I mean, I run away. The idea is actually to run away. You want absolutely nothing to do with uh, wild Pokemon fights in this Chrome hack. Oh, God damn it! Okay, no, good. Um, main reason for that is uh, because they, you know, chip at you. They can chip at you. That's the important thing. And chip breaks uh, mountains. You really, really don't want to get chipped. It can turn a, a win into a loss. Uh huh, yeah, and you know, pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. Okay. I do, however, want as much. Uh, th I think this is the only optional uh, trainer fight in the entire ROM hack. I cannot recall anything else. Um. But yeah, you don't want to get chipped, you don't want to lose moves, you don't want to accidentally mess up and uh, lo lose completely. Like, if, if you don't want to shut a bolt up, it's going to explode. An explosion in this uh, generation is pretty strong. Oh, I've got to relieve my, ang my anger. You can get her phone number. Not, not really worth. Marie. Another thing I can get is uh, stuff like geodudes and that glance is intriguing. Geodudes and um, yeah, that's it. A rock type. Rock type isn't bad for tanking explosions. And exploding yourself. I might actually try to catch a Boltor. If possible. Not on the way there, but once I'm in Athalia, I'll probably try to get either a Boltor. A Boltor than Ghastly. The thing with Ghastly is I'm not going to actually use it. I'm not going to actually train it. I've actually found a compilation of, you know, every single change done to this game. This is disappointing. And 
I have played through this n numerous times, but it's always useful to, you know, have an idea of how things were. And yeah, I, I already knew, I think I mentioned it earlier in a previous VOD, that uh, Gastly is pretty bad. <laughs> and I stand by it, Gastly is pretty bad in this. And allow me to elaborate. It has no moves, that's the thing with, th with this game. Uh, Pokemon freshly caught. You can have an amazing Pokemon, and if you remove all of its moves, it's not going to be amazing anymore. And Gastly is just exactly with that. You cannot get Hypnosis, you cannot get Spite, Curse, anything like that. I mean, not like Spite is too broken, but you can, you, you can turn fights around with it. Uh, in a game like this, in a ROM hack like this, in a normal playthrough, you're not going to use that at all. Um, but yeah, you pretty much only have like Nightshade and that's it, and Lick. You're not going to do much with it. I think, okay, maybe if I'm getting to Gengar, you know, to, if I turn it into a Gengar, it's going to actually do amazing, right? Wrong. Because first off, you have to be... It's the same deal as, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Larvitar. Uh, you have a, a, a Hunter at level around 25, I think. You get that. A Hunter is not very good until it learns naturally Psychic. You learn it naturally, and at like level 47? That's before... Uh, evolving Gengar, I think. And yeah, you have to carry it for way too long. Wow, you made me lose that fish. You have to carry that, that you know, uh, dead weight, literal dead weight, for far too long for it to be worth anything. With no moves, and the only utility is being able to switch into like uh, an explosion. That's the only. The only reason you want to carry that is because of that. Uh, this this fisherman have a lot of money to afford these. But yeah, I still want one though, and eventually I can ha I can get a, a wild Gengar later on. Wild Gengars are kind of. I think after. After. Uh, I think the progression in this game is swapped, so you do um, Mahogany first and then Siawood. After Mahogany, you can get Wild Gengars with pretty good movesets. Like I mentioned in previous bonds, uh, movesets are depending on the Pokemon. You can get uh, wild move pools are probably better than whatever you get uh, by leveling up normally. For example, this bay leaf. I, I actually thought I had to uh, catch a wild bay leaf to actually get the to get light screen too, but it's actually not. Oh, already. That's pretty bad. Eh, not that bad. Um, but no, you can actually, if you delay the evolution to Meganium, you can actually get light screen, I think. So yeah, that's something useful I learned from, uh... Probably should have swap. Remorade has probably our Aurora Beam. Oh, Flameful, not even Aurora. <laughs> yeah. Um... It's a shit mod, so who cares? Uh, I'm gonna I'm go quick. Look at how much chip adds up. Just from trainers, right? And this is a thing I'm going to do. You have to deal with your doing the entire playthrough is getting chipped on the. Oh god, I. Water gun. I overplayed. Oh god. And, and yeah, then going back and healing up. 
Okay, that did no damage. <laughs> but yeah, that chip adds up regardless, so... Sploosh! That's cute. I'm really good at both fishing and Pokemon. I'm not about to lose to any kid. It shouldn't be that bad. I should be able to kill it. I think there's one extra camper that might be a little cuppish. But I, I forgot if it's changed from the... Okay, easy easy. No, there's two trainers. There's a bird keeper in this camper. I tried to, I tried to rush things. Yeah, that's the counter. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. I'll probably use it on a ghastly. Also, I'm going to be, like I mentioned earlier, I'll try to get a Boltor, and I'm going to try to constantly get Boltors. Boltors are not good Pokemon, and I'll eventually I'll try to get Electrodes. These are not particularly good. However, oh wait, I might have an extra thing to Bird Keeper, this camper and somebody else. Found some good Pokemon in the grass, I think they'll do it for me. Um yeah. The only thing it has is it, it explodes and that can actually be uh, a deal breaker in uh, fights against uh, bosses. They are actually pretty useful. Or using them like grenades or something. A pretty good trade off. Mm, that might be okay. No, we made it. I think this guy originally has a needle arm male. For them. Wait, no, this is the whooper guy. Oh, this is the whooper guy. Might be okay though. That badge, it's- oh no, it's- it's the- this is the keeper. So I was right, I was right. Uh... I mean, even if I lose Crocona, I can probably deal with it. Using... All the electric types I have. And I should probably be also leveling up or... Making them keep up with me. Farfetch is actually unironically probably okay right now. It might have the. Maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> maybe the one instance where it's kind of above average level in the game. I'm surprised nobody uses it like that. No other. No game actually uses Farfetch as some sort of early, early, early game boss. Oh, maybe. Okay, oh, goddammit, quick attack. Okay, so we might need to pick a chili shit up. Surely this one shot. Oh gosh. Okay, cool. Good enough, good enough. Motherfucker using. What the fuck? That's some bullshit. Swear to God. What the fuck? Okay, uh... What is this bullshit? I might need to... Wait, I have a super potion. I might need to use that. That was complete bullshit. Heck, of course he has fucking peck. Ah. Need to toxic it. 
need to toxic it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I cannot afford to get uh, fully paralyzed against this ship. Good missed it would have been amazing, but Okay, belief. Belief in yourself. A spam potions. Okay, good, good. Just don't crit me. Watch it crit me again, this shit is a crit machine. You know, it's it's choking, it's choking. Come on, dude. Come on! Bay leaf! Bay leaf! Come on, dude. Good, 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 good. Get one more turn of reflect. Oh, no, I, I get only this. So even a crit could actually... Okay, good. It's choking. Crit pack might actually delete me at this range. Thankfully, I'm way too bulky. Good thing I had... I actually healed my paralysis instead of go opting for more health. Yeah, quick attack to this shit now. Fuck off. Demon Dodo, I believe. Okay, uh. Do I have a shot at this? I have no idea what... If, if there were any modifications to present. It's, useful, it's usually a very shitty move. You can even heal me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. I'm play... I, 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 I. I don't play with my food. I don't play with my food. I don't play with my food. Holy shit, why is this such a shit <laughs> Oh well. Oh, I, I, I'm not over yet. Kill me. Her price is wasn't changed, so it's like a meme. 3 billion move. Mm -hmm. 3 billion BP move. Would have been very funny. Okay, we did it. Bayleaf, the killer of birds. The bird killer. Bird slayer, Bayleaf. This guy's trying to sell me. Nah, fuck off. Why the hell would anybody buy that? Well. Okay, we are we're safe. Thankfully, we're safe. There weren't there weren't any more trainers that I can think of in this area in particular. But I recall one particular trainer at the end of this. One hiker. Yeah, give me that rod. All right. Okay. Now is when I think I had flash on some one of these guys. I didn't. I said bolt orb is not very good earlier. Yeah, but uh, electrode is actually. Kind of good for a particular reason. I'll explain when it happens. Yeah, saw it coming. A 
Okay, like I said, rules for this. Unless I can one-shot it, I never fight it. For example, this is a Diglett, right? This is a Diglett. Yeah, this is a good, good way to test it, right? It is faster than me, so I should never fight this thing. We were early on, yeah, we were early on. But I could one-shot it, I can go back and heal now. I probably won't heal now, because there are trainers ahead. But after what trainer fight, I'm going to be pretty worn out and I will have to, you know, run away. This shit I never fight, it's way too bulky and it's going to explode on me. And if I had a Ghastly, maybe I can switch in, but I don't, so... Wow, what a surprise, I didn't expect to see anyone here. Oh, by the way, Ghastly is uh, only only appears at night, so that's why I'm not getting one. And this guy is going to send out a matchup. Okay, not bad. This thing could actually get me. Uh, chipped quite a bit more, enough for me to have to go back. Yeah, that's a, a full hit KO. Now oh, Seismic Toss is going to deal some good damage. Yeah. It's a free hit KO, assuming it does not use like a max potion or something. Hmm. Alright, good. Get, get, get. Wow, I'm betting big time. On my record, apparently a Pokemon I was planning to use uh, later is very easy to obtain. Well, not very easy, it's actually very, very hard to obtain, but also, you know, it's obtainable, that's the thing. Earlier than I thought, here with Nazalia, so I'll actually attempt to get it. I don't think I'm going to record it, you know. Let me rephrase. I think I want to stream it. I'm not going to do it uh, like off stream and then blow the short and be like, oh, I got, got this one Pokemon that I need. But yeah, apparently I, I didn't know that. I, I knew you could get it like a bit later, one city later, but not, not yet. Yeah, that's pretty good because I can soak EXP with it. And it's overall a really, really good Pokemon. Uh, a bit, a little bit barren in terms of uh, Oakpool early on, but then it gets everything it could ever need. Pretty amazing. Yeah, we, we never fight this. We avoid it. We avoid it. Even then, uh, even with this level difference, the only thing I can, I, I can, I, I'll actually fight are like Geo dudes. But even with this level difference, uh, compared to Wilds, I don't think I can actually run away from all of them, especially Voltorb. Voltorb is the one I'm kind of worried about. Like I can, I, I can safely run away from coughing. But Diglett and Boltorb are, you know, a really important item in this game is uh, Smoke Ball. Surprisingly, we're moving from point A to point B. Smoke Ball is the absolute king. But, uh, oh well, yeah, I might, I might have to kill some of these just to, you know, just to get e XP, just to get EXP. You get like one level, two levels. Look at look at the level difference, and it's still faster than me by a large margin. I can't even run away. Alternatively, I can catch one of these and then run away with it. If I can't run away from Diglett, then Bolt is probably gonna be the same deal. And the main difference between Diglett and Bolt Orb is. Uh, Voltorb explodes. I think they have the exact same speed. 
Like Diglett, Diglett will chip at me with like, yeah, rock slide, magnitude. Boulder will outright explode. <laughs> um, if I see one, I'll just chuck a ball at it and see if I can actually. Oh, these are ooh, another one. Lots of really fast Pokemon though. Do, do I have ex escape ropes? I have one. Mm. Okay, let's see what this guy saw about. Zubat Super Zoni confused. Okay. Thanks for the information. Hopefully he has fire type Pokemon. He doesn't, and I, I know what this thing is going to do. Can you guess what it's going to do? It didn't do what I thought it was going to do, but maybe it will... Oh, use a sludge. Good guy coughing. Oh, well, that one shot me somehow. Um, maybe you can mess with the AI on this. Alright, um, I really don't don't have any tools for this. Okay. You might be wondering well um, I, I I'm pretty sure you're not wondering why. I've been talking at this to the about this at length. Psybeam, I'm coughing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing all these hoops because it's going to fucking explode. Any time now. Damn it, I lost two Pokemon to nothing. Because I was baiting the explosion. I guess I'm going to chip it a bit more. If it gets fully paralyzed, I could even even take on that. No. And this coughing really wants to dox again. So I was looking earlier at, you know, Pokemon move pools and stuff. Now, here we go. Okay, we cool though. Pretty cool, we got we even got a level. Maybe I shouldn't have swapped to Bay Leaf, but yeah. Okay, cool, we got Good thing I kept Crocodile. Good thing I kept it. Oh okay. Bye. Alright. Easy enough, but now I'll have to go back to here. I bought more uh, escape ropes. Blame that. No, oh, that's that psi beam really, really blindsided me because I, I think I could handle lunch with some luck, spamming like Giga Drain, and then you know finishing it off with something cool. But, no. Well, like it also seems kind of cool, but it, it, it's going to fall off really, really fast. I really need to leave. Okay, good. No flinch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Also, now is the part where the encounter rate is starting to actually pick up. Notice that. Mm, uh, this might actually be... Yeah. Uh, Bay Leaf. You can count on Bay Leaf. To actually survive this. I'm not sure if I can escape from coughing, so... It's actually... Actually, a bit difficult. I'm I'm not I'm not sure about coughing speed compared to way leaves, but yeah, I can probably probably manage. Can probably manage. If it toxics me, I'll just use antidotes. But damn it! <laughs> uh, at least I can heal in front of these guys. Oh, let's see, it uses that. <laughs> it's fine, next time I'll heal it. Next time I'll heal. But, um. It's synthesis. God damn it, I should have gone back the moment I got, uh. chipped by that, uh. But that first thing, look. Like, I think the, the end result will happen in the same. Mm. Okay, I, I'm not afraid of running away from this thing. I'm actually not even sure it can use spore in this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, because the, the creator has to remove, had to remove everything. Fun. <laughs> In order to make it difficult. Except for like very, very specific things, but ultimately they even they fall off. Oh, very not bad. I wouldn't want to fight it though. Like uh, on the way from point A to point B. There's going to be a lot of back and forth, so yeah. I should have probably, I should have really bought some escape rope. In fact, I, I'll probably go back and see if I can buy some. Because, yeah, the, in the long run, in the long run, yeah. I'll 100% need them. Let's see if I can go back through here. Surely there is something here. That I haven't seen. If I could only one shot this. Is there? Is there? Ah. I think this is Roar, maybe? Roar? There is an NPC, I think, that gives you Roar. Not a move I. No, I repel. Kind of weird, but okay. Oh, but what's up with this? <sighs> uh... Oh, I can delete this. So long as I gain enough speed to actually outspeed Diglets and farm them, I c I'll be fine. Because on the way to, you know, the Boltorb area, I'll probably gain an extra level that might actually make me good. Okay, uh, it, it all worked out, I didn't get bamboozled. Uh, even got a repel from it. Okay, let's see if, if I can actually buy uh, escape ropes. If not, then, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also plan to get a home tower that I never really got. Please sell this shit. Okay, good. Nah, that... Yeah, that, that, that's good enough. 
Well, let me replace one of these. Um, yeah. Do I want one of these? Eh, I think it's pointless to have one of those. If they were cheaper, you could probably use them to, you know, avoid, uh, to escape from certain things. But there's so many encounters that, you know, it's kind of pointless. Like, I could spam them against... Well, I could also use a repel. That actually might be <laughs> even easier. Uh. The only instance where I use a Pokedon was when I tried to like abuse a glitch in Gen 1. Um, where uh, if you use it on the ghost of uh, Cubone's mother, you, you can just uh, escape from that fight. You, you can end the, the fight and it lets you progress. So if you don't if you don't want to do the self scope part, you can always use that. The only downside is that if you don't have the self scope, you cannot get ghastly. Or Cubon, but yeah. Well, I think you can get Cubon. Not, not in red and blue. In one game, you can get it in the Safari Zone, I think. I think. I'm not quite... Not completely sure. I could be 100% wrong. I'm guaranteed not in red and blue. Maybe yellow? Maybe fire... Red? Leaf green? Maybe? Just maybe. But yeah. Uh, Ghastly is out of limits then. You probably want to use Gasly, it's pretty good in Gen 1. If you give it TMs, without TMs, it's kind of meh. And admittedly, you probably want to use those TMs and other stuff. Uh, I'm approaching one hour and I haven't done. I haven't even gotten to the ball turns. But I kind of want to leave it at one hour on the stream, because... Yeah. My health. I can't believe I'm this so... I have to worry about my health. Let's go as far as I can, and then maybe I can get a ghastly for next time for the bolt orbs. Yeah, I can probably do that. I can cope with it. Say, hey, I clean. Uh, I I beat this many trainers, so now the bolt orb part is kind of easier. Okay, here we go. Oh, Grimer! Yeah, you now you could. I don't remember you could find it here. <laughs> Hopefully I can actually outrun these now. I did gain one level. Ugh. Thankfully, it's not using any any electric moves. Uh, why? Okay, good. So I guess I'll have to continue fighting Diglett. Main reason why I actually fight this is that, you know. I'll, 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 I'll need the XP, I'll need the levels to actually, you know, gain the speed uh, required to escape. And these guys are, I think, more or less the same speed as Alakid, so I might as well just go gain the XP yeah, instead of just throwing the dice and try to escape them. 
These guys are a hundred percent. Escape. Uh, okay. Chokhabat actually stocked up on repels as well. That would have been smarter, I think. Uh, okay, another one. Nice. Want to use one on Walter? Okay, let's. Man, and so quick. So close to another trainer. Uh, I, have a, I have a good feeling about this trainer. This guy will have like a shitty deal other than that's it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, now I can run away from this. Good. Also, apparently, yeah, Squirtle was much better than Croconaw for this. You're headed to Azalea, are you... Let my Pokémon see if you're good enough to battle. Uh, main reason is that Squirtle actually... Uh, Blastoise, rather, has the same speed as uh, her Alligator. He has higher special attack, I think. And better bulk. Meanwhile, Feraligator has higher attack, and it doesn't really have any moves that can have used that, so yeah. I should have caught a Squirtle. Ooh, Zubat. Oh, I should have slashed. That time. Please do not... Okay, it, it used the exact thing I thought it would use. Will this be enough? Oh. Yeah. I mean, the alternative to going in, uh, tape roping, uh, going out, is to just... Uh, I use Bailey for this. I kinda, I kinda wanna keep Crocona a bit healthier. Uh, is to actually grind a lot the entrance and then uh, steamroll for this, but yeah. Jigglypuff is really bulky and yeah, I expect this bullshit, so might as well, you know, poison it. Let it get chipped passively. And it's not very strong. Unless it has, like, Double edge for some reason. Oh, dizzy punch. Going for one up. Holy shit, I actually built a lot of damage. Let's, let's hope I can actually wake up. <laughs> Do quite a bit of damage. It can, it can confuse as well. Come on, be Bailiff. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Bailiff. Wake up. Belief? Belief? Come on. I need you to wake up. Belief! Belief! Come on. Man, pre-gen pre uh, sticks sleep was absolute. Oh gosh. Was absolutely ridiculous. Incredible. This people about this. <laughs> oh well. I can, I can, I can, I can slash it now. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised that killed too. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Okay. Clean up as much as possible. I don't want to actually get as much uh, juice before ha uh, as possible before actually going to leave the dungeon, the cave. 
Ooh. No, I'm not feeling it. Uh. Not quite feeling it. You know what? I'm going to actually save here. Because losing money kind of sucks. Though with, with mom saving money up for us, it's fine. If it's light, okay, it isn't scary. If you are strong, Pokemon are scary. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, Magpie. That, that might not be that bad. It might take a hit. Maybe more if it uses like smoke screen or. Oh, it's faster. Yeah, Magpie is pretty fast, is why it crits and confuses me. Okay, I'm switching out because I'm not letting this shit actually. Contaminate how I play. <laughs> I'm not letting RNG decide if I hit or not. Because I know I'm going to lose because RNG in this is skewed against you. That magma hurts, dude. It's... Magma, I think, is the strongest Quillava, more or less. A bit stronger, even, maybe. Which it, it, it isn't a bad idea to get one. Okay, good. But yeah, now I 100% have to leave. Not only because of the damage I took, but because this guy's blocking the path, so. Flash! I'm yawning because I didn't sleep much. Alright. Uh, okay, good, good, good. I don't have to go back to Violet City to get a Ghastly, even though I probably will do that. Uh, because you can actually find them in this very same cave. Okay, I'm faster, I'm faster, nice. Hopefully it's not like a, an IV uh, heal, where this is the slowest dig left alive. And... But I cannot speed that, now I can get the XP. Maybe one more level and I can outspeed every single one of them. Of course, now that I want to find the Lex, I cannot find it. Okay, I, I spoke too soon. I am faster on this one too. Maybe I'll even outspeed both orbs. Like I said earlier though, like Gastlers are kind of shitty in general, but you know, switching it into Bolt Orb and getting free XP is pretty nice. You can, I don't know, maybe lick something with it. I don't know, it's something. But yeah, always have your ghost type with you. Even though I said uh, the only thing I should fight are piglets, I'm kind of 
tolerating that. Well, no, it's fine, it's fine, because I will have 100% to leave at some point. Uh, leave the cave, go back and heal. Because of the trainers, uh, not because of anything else. But, yeah, I was wondering about PP. Like, was it worth it? How, how much PP does Water Down have? Oh, I have, I have. I have a good amount, but the encounter rate is ridiculous. Free XP is free XP, you cannot complain. Okay, it's faster, now it's faster. So I might need one more level. I stand by, by my choice of actually fighting these, but yeah. be faster. And now we're about to experience some real Boltorp moments. If I get uh if I get self-destructed on Crocodile, I I'll just have to escape the road back and wait. Really just get a ghastly. That's the only way out. I'll try to run away from Boltorps, but yeah. It might not work. I actually might try to level up one more time, just, just like this one level, before I go down the stairs. Just for the extra speed, that's all. Okay, that's good. 39 speed. I think these guys can actually self-destruct as well. This place is actually really nice for the let. Oh, this is swift. Uh, it's been a while since I last saw another person. Don't be shy, let's battle. I do not remember the stats of this man, but I'm going to assume it's like every other hitman and has insane as special defense. Meryl. We're gonna give Billy some EXP. I wanna keep Krovano healthy after all. Great, amazing. And next is Rhyhorn. I, I, I want to give it to Crocona. Like Bailiff is not going to be good against uh, Bugsy and all. Best I can switch it into like uh, one Pokemon, maybe. I forgot. There was one passive Pokemon. Most I can switch it into that and use Reflect, but yeah. Urk. Okay, we try to go as far as we can. Okay, here we are. Here they are. Okay, we'll, we'll run away. We'll run away, we're cool. Oh yeah, this area has a little bit of a... Oh no! I just recall what that is for. It actually fucks you up real hard if you actually go there, I think. Because it messes with your escape rope. Oh, here we are. Oh, it has Thunderbolt. Hold on, that's pretty good for its level, you know.
Okay, we try to fight this and then we go back. Oh, but Thunderbolt actually means that Ghastly might not be that good against this. Uh, is there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. I try to do this and then we go back. Oh yeah, these guys have all shinies. That's their gimmick. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice this sheep. Oh, that's straight, that's straight. Easy. Boom, can't see this. Boom, can't see this. Is he choice locked? Okay. How, who hates that? Complete hollow wash. Uh, okay. Yeah, if this this thing won't die and it will spam Thunder Wave, so I'm going to just uh, have to absolutely 100% go back. Look at this guy with high proportion. Insane, insane. And both of actually having Thunderbolt kind of puts the damper into my, my ghastly plan. Okay, good. What's next? Slope up. This actually should be easy. Man, this... <laughs> So many shinies look so much better with the Pokemon Crystal Palette that it's kind of sad what happens to them later. Easy peasy. Go, go away! And that Mareep was... was a trooper. Since I mentioned this... And I mentioned I was going to, you know, leave. Oh, damn. Okay. Bye, world. Oh, it did not do that much. Hold up. Could I do Bolt of 4 XP? We'll find out in the next episode of uh, Pokemon Crystal Kaiser. By the way, I'm never doing Bolt Orbs for 3 XP. I will, however, uh, send in. Try to get a guest for the next time. Uh, I'll probably record that one. Uh, probably get one from the cave itself instead of going back to Violet City reason for that and that that means I'm going to get a lot of levels probably going from point A to point B. The reason for that is mostly because Gastly's here will have levels appropriate to you know the Pokemon there while well, in violence violet violent city yeah violet city is going to have uh, much weaker Gastly's and I don't plan to actually train train them to be you know up to standard here. Really it's going to be like a, an explosion sponge, but if, if the opposing, if the AI decides to use Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave or whatever, uh, I would rather uh, something that can tank at least a Thunderbolt, you know. But I digress. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Um, this was not very eventful, like the one hour limit is kind of painful. For the sake of, you know, content, the amount of content I can actually have in, in, in a video. 
Uh, I hate the term content, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, it's watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, uh, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, Tinder, uh, whatever. Uh, Otsley.